So as we start working on STM32 WB55, we just first need to understand what are the actual features that are supported by WB55 and also the internal architecture of the chip. Now, uh, if you see here, WP55, as we know, is basically a MCU plus wireless chipset, right? So wireless, we already talked about the capabilities, which is BLE and um, the IEEE 8.0.15.4 uh, uh, protocol supported. Now, um, we will talk about two important uh, core um, processors that are inside this particular chip uh, which helps in the functionality of uh, WP55. The first one is Cortex-M4 CPU which is basically a <coughs> uh, MCU core uh, which uh, is uh, um, performing the functionalities uh, that are desired for this MCU chip. <coughs> Now, this particular chip uh, has uh, the interfaces similar to what we see with the MCU and this is referred to as uh, CPU1 in this uh, STM32WP55 because this is actually a dual core uh, chipset. Uh, one chipset is this particular uh, <coughs> Cortex-M4 processor. Uh, which uh, um, is uh, um, responsible for all the peripheral features uh, uh, that are extending out of the chip. And along with this processor, we also have floating point unit. We know the um, functionality of floating point unit, right? It uh, helps in processing the uh, floating point numbers. So this is a single precision floating point unit that is included here. So Cortex-M4 plus FPU forms the core of the MCU functionalities of this STM32 WP55. And then um, we have Cortex-M0 Plus. So this Cortex-M0 Plus core um, is uh, in the RF subsystem of this particular chipset where you have um, so uh, the RF related activities, uh, uh, the MAC related activities uh, of this particular chipset will be <coughs> processing will be performed by this Cortex M0 plus. Now, considering the scenario, um, so what is the advantage Cortex M0 plus brings here? Cortex M0 plus is actually handling all the RF related activities and thereby uh, reducing um, the burden of Cortex M4 uh, and Cortex M0 plus and M4 interacts together based on the requirement. And if you see this block diagram, even both of them share the uh, same memory inside the chip. So uh, Cortex M4 uh, um, M0 plus uh, is very important and this is referred to as CPU2 in STM32 WB55. So if you are working uh, on this particular chipset, um, be aware that uh, there is M0 process, M0, Cortex M0 plus uh, uh, processor as well as uh, Cortex M4 processor. So um, this is uh, um, the, about uh, the internal CPU that is present in this chip. Um, please post if you have any questions, please let us know um, if you want any information on this.